My name is Stephen Martin. I am the CEO of Pond Technologies. I'm going to tell you a little bit about how we are closing the carbon loop and developing systems that can provide sustainable solutions, including sustainable proteins and other products for human and animal consumption. Uh, we are closing the carbon loop. We grow algae, and we grow that off of industrial stack gas emissions. It turns out that to grow algae, you actually need an awful lot of carbon dioxide. And as strange as it sounds, there just isn't enough of this in the atmosphere, despite the fact that we hear about this all the time in the news. Fortunately, industry solves this problem for us by concentrating it and putting it up in a smokestack. We take the untreated stack gas emissions from large final emitters, we put them through our proprietary photobioreactor system, and we grow algae. And the algae that we grow has value. This will serve a number of needs as increasing populations and increasing demands for food put pressure on the systems that we have. The algae is a perfect sustainable protein. As a matter of fact, one of the algaes we grow, you can exist on it and nothing but, if that's, if that's your thing. Uh, it's also very lucrative. We make money from abating carbon emissions. Platform is very simple. We are end of pipe. We do not require any changes to the existing uh, large final emitter. We basically take their stuff as it goes up the smokestack and put it into our bioreactors and we grow algae. The algae can be used for any number of things. Uh, the markets that we're most interested in are nutraceuticals. Recently we've added an acquisition, Regenerix. Uh, they are an algae producer. They have a factory in BC. They grow a material that allows us to derive something called astaxanthin. Astaxanthin is what makes salmon the lovely pink color it is and actually leads to some of the health benefits we associate with eating salmon and related seafoods. Uh, this market is huge. There's no supply of this product and we're growing it and selling it. So this is fantastic. Food colorants, it seems like a bit of a modest market. I would never have thought it was so valuable, but there is no FDA approved natural source of blue coloring except one derived from algae called phycocyanin. Uh, we can derive this. It's worth hundreds of thousands of dollars per ton and uh, it's something that we can grow very readily. Uh, fish and animal feed markets are gigantic. We are actually stripping the oceans bare of bait fish in an effort to increase our fish farming. And uh, we can grow the algae that will service those needs. And as well, petroleum and derivatives, biofoams, bioplastics, basically anything you can make from petroleum, you can make from algae-derived products in a sustainable fashion. So we get a double sustainability. We actually get the CO2 abatement at the large final emitter, and we make something that offsets maybe not so sustainable practices that already exist. Uh, we have a number of projects ongoing. We're working with Markham District Energy to build a nutraceutical plant. We're in the permitting phase right now. Stelco will be at Stelco at their Lake Erie Steel Facility. We'll be building a large-scale animal feed and aquaculture feed-related plant. Uh, we've just started Con Naturals, into which we have folded uh, Regenerix, our acquisition in RFI Canada, and uh, uh, lots of other great stuff going on, including work we've been doing using algae and algae-derived technology to assist in the cannabis industry. We have a system that allows us to grow algae very effectively. Algae is the most challenging plant you can imagine growing. It goes through multiple generations per day. Our window of activity, our window to respond to changes is in the minutes to hours. Very different than terrestrial plant cultivators. Because of that, we have a system that responds quickly and intelligently to changes in the, in the needed environment for plants. And we're applying that same technology to the cannabis industry. And different the difference between us and other people who've been developing sensor and sensor related systems is we've grown 50 to 100,000 generations of algae. So we know how to grow and we grow a very challenging plant. We have a funding partner in Inventive Capital from the United States. They provided a uh, letter of intent to fund up to $100 million of our projects. They will be coming in to fund the Stelco project and they're continuing to source new projects and, and activities with us. Uh, in terms of projects that we have ongoing right now, we have been growing at St. Mary's Cement for a number of years. We are currently installing our seed system that will go into the Stelco facility uh, to prove the, uh, uh, the applicability of that to the Stelco installation. Uh, that's ongoing right now. Stelco Steelworks will be about a 1.5 million liter facility generating somewhere on the order of 2,000, 2,500 tons, something like that, of algae per year. That algae will largely go into the aquaculture and feed markets, but also will be growing a blued food colorant, which brings the average blended price of that algae to around $7,000 per ton. It's very interesting when you take two tons of CO2 and you make a ton of algae that's worth so much more than the input. So, you know, fantastic. Markham District Energy, this is a plant that we're uh, building 
very close to our head office in Markham. It's a small combined heat and power plant. We're taking the emissions from their uh, gas-fired um, energy plant, and we'll be growing astaxanthin somewhere in the neighborhood of one ton per year of astaxanthin. Astaxanthin as a bulk material is worth a seven and a half million dollars US per ton. Uh, and uh, uh, retail, and we do have a retail brand that we're, we're building, uh, up to $70 million per ton. Our Pond Naturals division has, uh, has been created to house the Regenerix brand that we've, we've purchased, as well as RFI, and we're looking to continue to push out ingredients that relate to algae and algae-related products through this, uh, through this division. We've also hired uh, Grant Smith. He's joined us. Grant is the former president of RFI Canada, 25 years experience selling these kinds of products. So we have real expertise in-house to get this, to get this out and, and really build the markets for Pond products. Uh, I mentioned Grant, I got ahead of myself. Uh, so uh, the opportunity through the Pond Naturals division is such that uh, we can generate continued offtakes for the products we make. As well, RFI in the United States is the largest or one of the largest algae importers in North America. They have continuous demand for the products that we will be growing. Uh, Regenerix, I've mentioned a couple of times, this is the brand. Uh, Regenerix Health is a brand of astaxanthin, the red pigment that is derived from algae that makes salmon the lovely color it is. This, uh, this company has technology for extraction of that material. It's a cold extraction uh, approach that doesn't degrade the material, making a superior product. Uh, we were mentioning, uh, we were talking earlier in a, at a board meeting that this is an unusual acquisition in that it's the one where everybody involved is actually a user of the product. It's the best astaxanthin product on the market. We now own this brand and we will continue to be developing this and new markets for it and the related products. Made in Canada. All of this sort of culminates in, in application of this technology to new domains. One of them is cannabis. People are obviously aware of the continued interest in cannabis and cannabis production. We think that the Pond approach with our artificial intelligence engine, which allows us to integrate the myriad of sensor data along with an appliance that we have developed that looks at the plant individually. It, it, it examines the plant health on an individual basis, integrates with the environmental sensors in the building and the system, and also includes certain cost parameters to help guide decisions. We'll be looking to optimize plant productivity and identify very early when plants fall off of the productivity pathway or of the preferred growth pathway. And uh, we have uh, we filed additional patent protection. Our existing patent portfolio already covers this application, but we're working with a very brand name group to develop the AI engine, and, and we think this is going to deliver real, real benefit to the cannabis industry. The team is headed by me. Uh, our COO is uh, Kevin Andrade, who joins me in the audience. And don't get too close, we're all crushing up the, at the stage. Uh, our CFO is uh, Thomas Masney, couldn't join us today. And Grant Smith is, you'll see him walking the floor, looking for opportunities to, uh, to include our astaxanthin product with related industries, including cannabis. Our cap table, people are always interested. Uh, management directors hold about 22% of the of the float, as, and St. Mary's Cement, our largest investor, uh, holds a further 11%. Thanks very much.